Hey, this is Dara Connolly, professional speaker who dares you to speak on stages with impact and be more influential and in speaking in front of an audience. In today's tip, I'm going to teach you how to become a professional speaker. I'm going to be taking you through my seven tips. It's going to blow your mind. Let's do it. <laughs> jump right in. I wish somebody gave me these tips when I first started out it would have saved me a lot of time, a lot of money. And here I am going to give them to you right now today. So you want to be a motivational speaker, a professional speaker, take your message to paid stages. How do you do it? Where do you begin? Let's jump right in. Today, I have seven tips to tell you exactly what to do. And whether you're an entrepreneur who wants to tell people about your message or your idea, or you're a corporate professional that has an, a, a message that you want to share in more stages, speaking professionally can be a very lucrative business, but it is a competitive business. And like any business, you have to have a strategy. If you don't, you'll get frustrated. I see this happen all the time. A lot of the clients I work with, with come to me from other speaker coaches who failed them, who were unable to get them on stages. And I take them through my specific strategy that I'm going to tell you today uh, of how they can get on those stages. And it's, it's like a breath of fresh air because it's a new way of looking at things. It helps them get ahead of their competition and it doesn't need to be complicated. Okay. In fact, simple is better. And we'll get to that in a moment. So the very first tip I want to take you through today, uh, and after I go through these tips, if you're still confused or you need a little bit more help of how I can help you specifically on your message and bring it to a stage, whether that stage is TEDx or any professional stage, go to daraconley.com or click the link below to jump on a call with me and I'll help you further. So the first tip, and these must be done in this order, is to be very clear on your message. Okay, that may seem like common sense, but I can't tell you how many people really miss this and they try to jump in. They're so excited. I want to speak on stages. In fact, there's one woman I remember working with her and she literally said to me, Dara, I could speak on any topic to anyone. Ah! No, you cannot. Because if you do that, unfortunately, you help no one. So I want you to get very clear. The message may seem like it's obvious to you, but if, if other people don't understand it or they're confused, confused minds never buy. So I want you to not say I work with everyone or even saying I work with young people is way too broad. Entrepreneurs ages 40 to 55 who want to become professional speakers and their income is over six figures and above, that's clear, that's specific. So do not be afraid to go specific. When you get specific, then tip two is to identify the problem you help them solve. I help them speak with impact and get on uh, and be more impactful when speaking on sales calls or on stages, even if they're afraid. You must make the message and the problem you solve simple. Practice it on a second grader. If they don't understand it, revise it. If you know a young person in your life, this could be invaluable information that will help you get to the next level. A simple message. Sometimes we think, oh, I have to think of this new, never heard before idea. No, people still need help with basic stuff, basic things, leadership, diversity, how to speak on stages, how to make more money, whatever it is that you specialize in don't try to think of what problems do people have first and then say oh yeah i speak on that it works the other way what are you an expert on what is your field of study what have you been doing with your life the past past 20 years what career growth have you seen what industries do you work in maybe you've written a book you know work with what you know don't try to fit it the other way around or you'll just fail miserably. Step three, and you cannot skip this step, is to practice putting together your presentation. And if you have no idea how to put together a presentation, it's beyond the scope of this call today. But reach out to me because I have a very simple formula to take you through how to write a speech. But practice it in front of as many people as you can. And when you practice it, at first you're going to practice it on your own, in front of your bathroom mirror or with your phone or maybe in front of your dog, that's great. But don't always start at the beginning because then you get interrupted. Somebody asks you for something and then you go back and you start from the beginning again. And the beginning of speeches tend to have more confidence and then they trail off and we don't want that to happen. We want the beginning, the middle, and the end to all be powerful. Change up the way you begin practicing it and rehearse it 
very thoroughly. You don't want to skip this. Step four, step four is once you feel confident in what you're saying and you don't need to read it from a sheet of paper or your slides, then you begin to offer your presentation to organizations. Who are these organizations? Well, at first it's most likely no fee. Chambers, rotary clubs, libraries, et cetera. Maybe you'll get paid. I don't know. You have to decide and I can help you with that. But when you have a compelling message that solves a problem, it's easier to get paid. Other people want to hear about this compelling message you have. And that's how we turn it into a paid opportunity. So simple messages do better than complex messages that are unique to you and why you're the expert that really can hone into an audience will do really well. Tip five is the big million dollar question. Where do I go to get the money? Dara, show me the money. Okay. Once you decide where your people are, then you can go look for them. Do they work in corporate? Does, do you speak to sales teams on how to close more sales? Or do you speak to HR managers on how to diversity and equality into their hiring process? Or do you speak to associations? Or do you speak more in the nonprofit industry? Narrow this down. It's unlikely you speak to all three. So pick a lane and stay in that lane. Don't get frustrated if the first couple of places you reach out to say no because it's going to make your message stronger. Six, okay, so how do you begin reaching out to these corporations, associations, or nonprofits, whatever it is, whoever you speak to, you're going to make a list, your dream list of the top 10 to 15 places you wanna speak at. Maybe it's conferences, that's the lane you wanna stay in. So you will find the conferences that you've heard about or that are in your town or that have really reputable speakers and you would love to be on that stage. So you make a list of them. The next step, and I want you to start local and then we go bigger, is to see who you're connected to, who works at these organizations or who knows somebody or who's maybe volunteered there. This is where the LinkedIn tool can be your friend. Start with people you know, and that's going to be your stepping stone to getting in to having a conversation. Tip seven, I know this may be a hard step for you, but I'm going to tell you that you can do this. Tip seven is to reach out to those people on your list, even if it's been years since you spoke to them. See if you can get that conversation going again. Offer to have a chat with them, an opportunity to tell them what you've been up to lately, how you're a speaker, this is the topic you're speaking on, and get the ball rolling. If you don't have that conversation, you will never know because most people begin their speaking professionally path by leveraging an opportunity from a past colleague or friend or coworker. Now there's, those are just seven tips. There's many more tips I can teach you on this topic to begin as a professional speaker. This is a pretty thorough list to begin with, and this should give you enough to do in the meantime. But if you really want to take this to the stages and you're serious about pursuing this path, you're going to want to book a call with me and you can do so by clicking below. Don't delay. My calendar is quite busy, but I do have time for you to discuss how to do this and how to make this easiest way into launching your message onto stages. Are you ready to speak with impact every day, every time? Click the link below and let's have a call. I dare you.